There he is. Byron Roberts is here from the Frankfurt Division of Solid Waste. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, good to have you here. I'm excited about this because there's changes to recycling and, and, and it's additions, right? Uh, yes, it is. It's uh, bringing back paper after uh, almost three-year hiatus of paper recycling. So it's uh, pretty exciting. I mean, it's been a long time coming and big, I have big thanks to actually the city of Lexington. They put on a little over $4 million into their recycling facility to be able to accept paper again without being uh, separated because we had for two years now we've had a separate bin at the recycle center just for paper and paper products that would that we would haul separately to Lexington. But now with Lexington's upgrades everything can be back uh, co-mingled together single stream recycling again. That's awesome I'm, I'm a huge on recycling so mm-hmm. bringing paper back is is massive so this starts tomorrow right yes it starts tomorrow, tomorrow curbside actually it started today on at our drop-off center but curbside we do a tuesday through friday route it, it starts officially tomorrow curbside so junk mail catalogs anything yes junk. so shiny and just regular paper uh Byron, can I ask you a question that I always wonder about? Sure. Since it says junk mail, mm. the the envelopes that have the little plastic windows on them, the, are those good to go? Yes, they are. We prefer, they, Lexington prefers them not to be in there, but they're not going to kick a load out. <laughs> okay. That, All right. You know, okay. Because they know how much, uh, so, and how if, many of those are out there. Yeah. And if you wanted to be really cool about it, you could rip the little plastic window out yourself, I guess. Yes, yes. Yeah, All right. well, I, I do game. that hard. Yeah. I know I do. The, and the other thing I do is sometimes they'll send you little plastic cards, you know, pretend oh, right. credit cards, yeah, yeah. get those out, rip those out and throw yeah. them in the trash. Right. Yeah. That, do I get a little star for doing Absolutely. that? Absolutely. Yeah. I, I gold star. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so that, so you, all the paper, right. I mean, so magazines and the glossy type papers, um, you were talking, we were talking before the show about the, I was always confused about the type of cardboard, right? I mean, I'm clearly like the traditional sort of like corrugated cardboard you get, like a box, that's fine. But um, the like shiny stuff that like uh, that sodas come in or like milk cartons, things like that, that's going to be accepted too. Yes, any of your uh, drink uh, 12-pack boxes, uh, freezer board, paper board is, is accepted curbside and, and at the drop-off center. And also new starting this week is the food and beverage cartons which most people know them like their soup, soup, uh, chicken broth comes in, mm-hmm. uh, milk cartons, mm-hmm. uh, the, like the soy milk, oat milk type products, and also juice boxes like you give your kids. Uh, you can throw those in the recycle. If they have a cap with it, please leave the cap on it once it, you put it in the recycle cart. Uh, the way I always ex- uh, describe those to my wife is the waxy ones. Yes. Like you know, when she's trying to like, can this go in? Can that go? Like uh, yeah, the nut nut. So we couldn't do waxy, but now it's all all the boxes can go in. Yes. Sir. The other thing you mentioned caps because that's something I sometimes get confused yeah. about, right? Like do you do you take the caps off and throw those away, or you know maybe you have a, a number one plastic recycling bottle, but the, the the maybe the cap is not recyclable. But but generally, when you leave the caps on, anything that you're recycling. Yes, let's leave the caps on, whether it's a two liter bottle or a or a chicken box, or mm-hmm. chicken broth box. Byron, when I was in uh, Austria for like a week and a half, uh, (laughs) you spent three years in Austria. I missed that. (laughs) Uh, They 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 were super hardcore about their recycling, Mm -hmm. and you did it all yourself. You you sorted it it yourself. Mm -hmm. They had rules about crush this, do that, like prepare it completely Mm -hmm. yourself. We don't do any of that. So, but if you if you were uh, wanted to be helpful about it. What would be like the number one thing you could do to, to help out and make things easier on the, when it gets to the like receiving part of it, uh, clean cardboard, that, uh, clean and broken, broken down cardboard. So no pizza boxes with cheese all right. Over. If one half the pizza box, the bottom half is yeah. all greasy, rip it off, rip the lid yeah. off, put the lid in the recycle and the greasy part in the trash. Okay. And same way with your vegetable cans, Drink, uh, yeah. drink cans. Just, just rinse them out. It, it just helps keep the, all the recycle clean, and it helps keep your cart clean and keep uh, wild animals out of it, right. <laughs> right, or your backyard. Yeah, yeah. You know. um, so, what if there is there one thing or the the people think that they can recycle that they throw in and that that's not recyclable? Like, is there you know sort of a tip that we can tell people like oh, don't you, don't throw that in there? Plastic bags. Oh, okay, grocery bags. Yeah, right? plastic. Any any type of plastic bag or wrap is not recyclable curbside or at our drop-off center. But you can take those to Kroger to both Kroger right. stores in town. Have uh, containers mm-hmm. out front. 
Mm. Yeah. I save them all up and <laughs> take a huge load out there every month or so. Um, and so same with like, uh, don't, don't put your recycling in a trash bag, you know, like a plastic bag Correct. and set it out. You mm. always want to put it in. Always in the carts. Mm. Well, uh, let's see. So, um, if, if people want more information on uh, how to recycle, if, if they're not catching all this, because there's, there's a lot of what you can do, what you can't do. Uh, but, you know, honestly, like at, with these additions, yeah. I mean, it's, it's pretty, pretty much, much it. everything. Right. Um, you, can, you can stay up to date on any changes or on the schedule uh, by downloading the free Frank Waste app uh, for city and county residents, which is, how's that going, uh, Byron, with the app? Are people liking that? Oh, yeah. We've got a lot of great feedback from it. It's very handy. It's just you can search anything. If you can think of the name of it or the synonym for it, you can search it, and it'll tell you what to do with it. If it doesn't tell you what to do with it, there's a app button that you just click. You tap on it, and it'll send us a message mm-hmm. saying that the item was searched for and it couldn't be found. And mm-hmm. the same way if you have issue, if your address isn't located in it, you'll just send us a note on there, and we'll get your address listed. Because once your address is listed, you can sign up for notifications. You'll get get a notification the day before trash day and also if we have to make a service change whether it's weather related or equipment or just sort of any issues due uh, to the to collection routes that's so because it's so handy because you know you, you you get the list maybe when you first get your your can you know and then years go by and people get confused and then you end up arguing with your with <laughs> your roommate about what goes in and what doesn't go in. You're like, well, I'm just going to pull out the app. I'll show you that it does Mm -hmm. or it doesn't. So uh, it's super handy to always have that resource available to folks. Um, What do do you want to, do you have any hot takes on uh, fast casual Mexican food or uh, or, or wild (laughs) animals? Yeah, we we need you to weigh in on Qdoba versus Chipotle (laughs) for one thing. I'd have to lean more towards Chipotle. I think it's pretty good. It's pretty good. What about any friend, do you have any friends that are wild animals? No, no friends currently is a wild animal. <laughs> if I had to pick one, I'd have to pick a tiger. Tiger would be cool. Yes. Just, uh, I grew up with Calvin and Hobbes. So, yeah. So oh, just, uh, oh, I didn't think about yeah. that. That's good. As a kid, I was all, yeah, wanted yeah. a tiger. Yeah. Mm. Any kind of big cat. And you see these videos of people with like, you know, the, the, that hang around with lions and stuff and they're giving them hugs and stuff like, yeah, big giant cat. Uh, all right. So Byron, thanks for coming in. Uh, always helpful and it's exciting stuff, uh, especially for people that love to recycle and uh, appreciate you coming in and hope you'll be back soon. All right. Thank you. Appreciate you all having me.